Really love that color. Welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to go to Target and get some stuff for my bathroom. I've been wanting to kind of revamp my bathroom a little bit because I feel like it looks really, really plain. So I did take you guys shopping with me today. Today is Sunday. I actually accidentally posted a video today. It was supposed to go up tomorrow on Monday. It's my Tackle Your To-Do List video. So I hope you guys enjoyed a bonus Sunday video. So this video is going to be going up the next day on Monday, but I'm going to show you guys everything that I picked up from Target to do my bathroom with. I was thinking about changing out my shower curtain because I seen one I really liked, but whenever I went in there, I kind of had a plan in mind and that's what I do whenever I go shopping. I'll have like a plan in mind of what I'm going to do and my plan did not consist of changing out my shower curtain or my hand towel set. I have the boho black and white pom-pom shower curtain from Walmart and I have several matching hand towels that I've bought So and they're really good quality and I really love them. So I wasn't really planning on changing out my hand towels or my shower curtain, but my rugs need to be replaced desperately. They are like falling apart. They're terrible. They're really plush and soft, but I would not recommend the bath mats that I already have in there. They are from Walmart. I'll show them to you guys and show you what I'm talking about. But I did pick up some things to go in my bathroom. We're going to organize, clean, and kind of revamp, decorate in there today. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video. And for now, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys everything that I picked up. Eric is home out there with the kids, so sorry if you hear anybody screaming or any background noise. It's not really ever silent at my house, so excuse any noise. And we did stop by Duncan and grabbed a coffee so I can get through the day today and get through this video. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to share with you guys is an organization system that I got to go up underneath my sink, and I'm really hoping that it works out. Um, Everything under there is kind of just like one layer. There's no shelves under there or anything. So underneath my bathroom sink, I have a tiny vanity under the bathroom sink and it's very, very small. So I thought that this would be a good solution. It is a stacking tote. It stacks up. So hopefully I'm able to stack up some stuff under there. If it doesn't work, if anything doesn't work, or I don't like anything, I can always take it back. <laughs> I have my receipt. But this is going to be like a... I think it was like $178, we're just going to say $180 that I had spent at Target today on my bathroom. So it was very affordable for a bathroom makeover, but this is a must have and I hope that it fits under there with the way that the piping is and stuff. So we're going to see how that turns out. The next thing for underneath my sink, I'm going to try to go in order here, is this organization caddy so that I can put my hot tools in it, maybe my hairspray, things like that. So we're gonna see how this works out under there. Hopefully it does work out. And if not, like I said, I can always return it, change things out. And the next thing, as far as organization, on the back of my toilet, I have a really small basket. It doesn't take up the whole back of the toilet. So there's lots of space that's not being utilized and used up. So I did pick up this basket and I was gonna get the lighter colored one, but I just recently moved my um my like jewelry organizer in there i'll show it to you guys it holds like my earrings and my necklaces and stuff and it's like a dark wood color so i wanted to not get like light wood colors i wanted everything to kind of like go together and match so i did get this basket to go on the back of my toilet and i also got a second one 
The next thing I got for organization are three of these glass jars with the wooden lids. I think these are so cute and really good quality. I got three of them. They have different sizes. They have like extra small, small, medium, and large. So you can get like all different sizes of these. But I was going to do like maybe like cotton balls and Q-tips, floss, things like that will go in these jars. And then I also picked up this little plant to go in my bathroom. It was only $4.99. It's a little $5 little um, greenery here. I don't know where I'm going to put that, but we'll figure it out. The toothbrush holder that I have right now is kind of, it's like oval. And I feel like it takes up a lot of space in the tiny bathroom. So I did get a smaller toothbrush holder for just mine and my husband's toothbrush and toothpaste. It's just an amber color glass jar and it's actually got some weight to it so it's pretty good quality the very last things that i picked up are the bath mats so like i said i have the boho shower curtain and the matching hand towels that are like black and white and this is a black and white rug i got two of them to go in front of the bathtub and in front of the sink so hopefully all that looks okay so i can't wait to see this transformation i'm going to show you guys the before and then we're going to decorate and clean and then i'm going to show you guys the after okay so here is a quick before of the bathroom and i can't wait to see how much better it looks just with these small updates i'm going to be doing in here this is my current bath mats these are from walmart they're so plush and so heavenly and soft to step on but they just like ripped up and I'm not sure if one of my kids like ripped this up or what. But at night when I come in here to use the bathroom, I will like trip on it. So these have to go. Then we're going to go ahead and look under my sink. And it's a nightmare in here, you guys. But it's going to look so much better by the time we're finished with it. And this is the hand towels that I got from Walmart that I absolutely love. They're really, really thick, good quality. And I bought like several of these. I think I probably have like eight of these hand towels to match my shower curtain. So I can always change them out and have matching hand towels in here. So this is the other one. I just keep two of them hung up at all times and they match my shower curtain so perfectly. I love this shower curtain. I always get questions about it and I'll have it linked below. I think the one that I found was um, on Amazon. It's the same shower curtain but on Amazon but I did purchase this one in store at Walmart. I just can't find it online anywhere at Walmart but I love the shower curtain. And then inside here I want to organize this a little bit better because it is a mess in here. But I usually keep all of my rags right here. Obviously, I need to go wash some rags. But it's usually stacked up to the ceiling right here. Or stacked up to the top of the cabinet right here. And this is all of my, my husband's medicines. My razors. Extra cotton balls. And then this is all of the kids' medicines. And then, like, my perfumes and hair products. And I decided to put this right here. I took down my wash, soak, relax signs that were right here. They were so cute here. But they were not functional, unfortunately. So I did change it out for this. Okay, so I showed you guys all the befores and what we're working with. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this bathroom. I'm going to clean my bathtub today too, get that out of the way since it is due for a cleaning. And then we're going to start decorating. I told myself that maybe he ain't worth it. Too bad I hate advice.
know about y'all, but have you ever lived somewhere where the toilet thing is missing? I know you can go to Home Depot or something and buy covers for it, which I'm probably going to end up doing because that just looks so gross. And I hate the way it looks. It's not attractive. And I just, I just hate it. So I'm probably going to go to Home Depot and get some covers for those eventually. Not today, but going to do that. And I wanted to go ahead and deep clean my bathroom today. So we are using the Clorox Cleanup Cleaner with bleach. I'm going to be also cleaning the outside of my tub with this and I'm going to also be using Fabuloso in the bathtub so I'm going to go ahead and get started on cleaning the tub next. These are the products I'm going to be cleaning my bathtub with. I'm going to start with bleaching the entire tub just to kill and disinfect any germs, get this bathtub all the way clean and then I'm going to go back inside the bathtub and the outside with the Fabuloso just because I love the lemon scent that it gives off into the bathroom so we're going to go ahead and use both of these cleaners in the bathtub. the most beautiful luxurious bathtub in the world but at least I know that it's clean and that's one thing I wanted to pop on here and say to you guys there are some people that are a lot worse off than you are if you have a space in your home if you have a stain in your carpet if you have something in your house that you just don't like and you're embarrassed about it you don't like people to see it just know that it's your home it's clean it's your space you're responsible of making it your own so just own up to it own up to your home as long as it's clean even though if, even if it doesn't look the most beautiful as long as it's clean then that's all that matters and there's a lot of people in the world that are a lot worse off than a lot of people. So just remember to be grateful for what you do have. Wide awake is the way that you left me. Sat beside in your car in the backseat. Wide awake is the way that you left me. Oh. Now it's clear we are here back in your house. And I keep. So I think I'm going to use this Hope Dream little Ray Dunn dish that I have to store like our razors and stuff because they're just like laying here on the bathtub and it looks really messy. I meant to get like a plastic organizer at Target so I'm going to use this for now until I can go to Target and find something like cuter to put like our razors in. Maybe like a little organizer cup or something but for now this will do. that I use this is the bone mop from Target and I also buy the bone mop solution to go in it it's a water-based cleaner that is safe for you and the planet this is not sponsored this is just the mop that I have been really loving lately for quick mops I do love the O-Cedar when I'm mopping like more of miles but just for like a quick mop to mop just like the bathroom in here today I have the Bona pad you can get extras of these these toss right into the washer for easy washes it sprays right here and all of this is the bone mop solution in here and this is the bone mop solution I get. Okay, so now I'm going to get started on the biggest project of this whole bathroom. We're going to take everything out of here, wipe it out, get rid of stuff that I don't want, put things back where they go, and try to organize it and declutter it in the best way that I can get it. I'm going to 
use my Mr. Clean Clean Freak Deep Cleaning Mist to clean under here. I love this stuff. This one is in the lavender scent, but I also love the lemon scent. This stuff does an amazing job. I think it's a little bit funny the amount of tampons I have because I did not plan on getting pregnant so I had recently stocked up on tampons for the next couple of months and then I found out I was pregnant so now I have all these tampons that I can't use until postpartum whenever like the six week mark um, and then I even wait later than that I think I usually wait eight to ten weeks before I start using tampons again just to make sure I'm not like sore and all that after baby but I have this huge box of 36, this huge box of 40, and then I had my little caddy stocked for my period for the month. So I guess I can put those away because I am seven months pregnant. So I still have a good ways to go before I use any of those. I love that this has a divider in it and you can move it back, middle, front, how, wherever you wanted it and it pops in and out really easily. So really, really love that. And here in just a little bit, I'm going to show you guys my new label maker and we're going to label these. But first I want to organize it because I don't want to label it first. So we're going to organize everything and then label it after. So basically this is my side and then this over here is my husband's side. So I'm just going to put his stuff back in here because I'll let him go through his own stuff. But I have him this little Dollar Tree caddy. It was $1 and this is just where I put all like his things. So I'm gonna dust off his stuff and just put it back in there. you guys keep like extras I like to keep like extras on hand basically like whenever I buy a cleaning product or a beauty product shampoos conditioners I like to buy like two of each at a time so that way I can put one up so that way whenever you like completely run out of shampoo and you're taking a shower you can just reach under the sink and get your extra bottle and then once you use that you just buy another backup so I have an extra like shampoo and conditioner under here my husband has extra body wash and shaving creams and stuff like that so that's a lot of the stuff that's stored under here are like our extras. And these are my little hair clips that I use um, sometimes whenever I'm curling my hair or doing my hair. So I'm just going to clip these right here for easy access. And then the things that I reach for the most I'm going to make sure are more so in the front. This is my husband's hand lotion for the winter time when his hands get really dry. So I put like all of our extras in the back. These are his extras, our mouthwash, his stuff, my hairspray, nail polish remover, and then I have my tampons that I'm not going to be needing for a while, some face stuff, my face brush, hair clips, and then these are all of our extras, extra toothpaste, just extra stuff in there. I have all these bath bombs. I was going to take them out, but I like that they're in the box because it tells me like what scent they are so i think i'm just gonna leave them in the box and store them in here
y'all super frustrating so they didn't make these bars long enough so i can't close it <laughs> so my blow dryer is supposed to go in here somehow like this but it doesn't fit in this space so i'm gonna be returning this and i'll update you guys whenever i get a different kind of like hot tools organizer to go under the sink but i want to get something like this i'll have to go back and look for something that's like longer and works in this space but this one clearly does not so this one is going back so this is what i've been using for my floss i got this at the dollar tree and i actually bought four of these at the dollar tree and the other three are my kids bathroom so i really want to use this one in the kids bathroom so they can have the full set and this is a little container i got it had some little bath bombs in it and i just like store my q-tips in here so thankfully I finally picked up these today and they are stackable so you guys can stack them up too just so you know these are at Target in store um, but I'm gonna sit them on the shelf all together but I think these are gonna look so cute with the cotton balls and stuff stored in them and it's gonna look so much more uniform. sure if I like the bless this mess sign here or if I want to put my mirror here you guys let me know which one you like better or if you like it better plain I think I like it better plain without the mirror or the bless this mess sign I think it looks cleaner and just more organized and put together this way let me know what you guys think rugs are by Opal House and they're really good quality they are so soft they had some rugs there with like tassels on them and fringe and pom-poms and stuff but I don't know how well that'll work in the bathroom since it gets like moist in here like moistures in here so I thought these would be perfect they're so cute and like I said they are Opal House brand and the rugs match my decor in here so perfectly it's just the boho Aztec and I just think it matches so perfectly and it looks so good you guys Okay, so I have these two racks that I got from the Target dollar spot. They were $5 a piece, and I really wanted to work them in here some way. So I was thinking about, like, replacing this, but I really like this to hang my necklaces up on. But I was thinking either putting them right here or putting them here. But I want to put them, like, in the center, but I have this strip here in the way, and there's, like, a giant screw there. But I don't know. Maybe I can put two of them right here and, like, put my essential oils on it. I don't know. I'm going to figure it out and try to make it look cute. And talking about places that you forget to clean, y'all, this is dust and I didn't even realize it. So I am going to clean the toilet paper roll. <laughs>
talking about spaces in your home that you forget to clean. The toilet paper roll being one of them. The side of the cabinet here was super dusty. Let me know down in the comments what is a space in your home that you do not clean often because you just don't think about it. Let me know down below, you guys. Okay, so what I'm thinking I'm going to do is just go ahead and get rid of this. And I'm going to get myself like a necklace holder to put my bracelets and necklaces on. Because I don't really want them in the bathroom anyways. Because it gets really moist in here when we take showers. And I don't really want them to rust or anything. So I'm going to get like a necklace holder and keep it on my dresser and I think I'm just gonna go ahead and hang up those two shelves right here and put like my nail polishes and essential oils on it so I think that's what I'm gonna do now Okay, so this is my Bluetooth label maker by the company Munbin, and I'm going to link this down below in case you guys are interested in one of these, but it charges USB so you don't have to worry about batteries. I charged it up in my laptop so it's ready to go, but it comes with all kinds of different um, designs for the label maker. This is a four pack roll in here. So to use the label maker, you just go to your Play Store and you go to Print Master and you're going to download the Print Master app. And once you've downloaded the app, you just connect it with your Bluetooth, you turn it on, you just push this button for two seconds and it comes on and then it says start using. So it's very user friendly and easy to figure out. And it says click to enter content. So you basically just type right here whatever you want your label to say and then you're just going to print it and it's going to print out. So I just type in what I want it to say and I click print and it prints it super fast. This thing works so awesome and I love that I don't have to worry about batteries. It just charges right back up on my laptop. But I'm using these glittery label papers. One says beauty and one says extras. I was going to put the beauty on the top of my organizer and extras on the bottom. Since I'm going to be storing most of my beauty stuff on the top and just like extra items. Things like that on the bottom. So this was sent to me from a company called Munman to review for you guys. And I'm never going to come on here and tell you guys I love something if I truly don't. I do love this. It connects to your Bluetooth super fast. It prints super fast. And it comes with a ton of labels that are going to last forever. They're going to last me forever, y'all. They're going to last me for a while. I don't have to worry about batteries because it just charges up USB. So I do highly recommend this cute little device here. And I'm going to link it down below in case you guys are looking for a affordable, good quality, good working Bluetooth label maker. Okay, thankfully Eric was home today because this project took me a lot longer than I thought it was going to take. It has taken me like all day. I went to Target this morning at like 10 30, 11 o'clock and I don't even know what time it is now but it's like dinner time so I've got to go in there and cook dinner for my family now. But I am so exhausted but I'm so satisfied with the afters and the way that my bathroom turned out and I'm about to share it with you guys and I hope that you enjoy the way that it turned out too. So I'm going to quickly remind you guys of what the before looked like and then we're going to jump right into what the after looks like.
you guys so this is a lot more organized even if it doesn't look like it so this is mainly my husband's side I do have some extra tampons stored in the back because I'm not going to use those until like way after the baby's born but this is our shared Listerine and then I just have like mostly my stuff over here in the back we have like extra shampoos extra shaving creams things like that and then in the front I just have stuff I reach for the most my hairspray nail polish remover stuff like that and then in this little basket here, I just have some personal items, my bath bombs, more tampons that I'm not going to use for a while. And here in the front is more stuff that I just reach for the most often, my hair clips. And I did label this top shelf beauty because this is like beauty, personal items. And then down here, I labeled it extras because this is where I have like extra toothpaste and just like extra stuff in here. Um, extra razors, things like that. So that's just all stored under here. And I love how clean and simple the top of the sink looks without my makeup being in here and that big bulky toothbrush holder. I really, really love this amber jar for our toothbrush and toothpaste. So simple. I ended up moving this little fake plant over here in the corner. I think it looks so cute right there. And then over here, I already had this hearth and hand candle from Target. It smells so good, but I just went ahead and put it in the bathroom as well as my Method hand soap. I always keep a hand soap on the sink. And right above the toilet is where I'll be keeping my Q-tips and my cotton balls and my floss. These are the floss picks. I really like to use these, but these don't screw on or anything. They literally just lift off so easily. So they're super easy access. You don't even have to pick up the jar to get anything out of it. Love that. And then in here looks so much more organized. This is where I'm going to be keeping all of my like rags. I like to use these for the shower and washing my face and just keep some extra wipes in here for whenever the kids come use the bathroom. This is all of the adult medicine. This is the kids medicine. I have my makeup brushes and scrunchies. These are hair ties, just like black hair ties. And these are my hair products that I reach for the most. Of course, on top, I have a basket of some extra toilet paper and that actually is holding six rolls. So that's super convenient. And then I ended up changing out the shelf for these two shelves. And I think it looks so cute like that. So I ended up putting my perfumes here and then my nail polishes the hot pink nail polish is actually arabella's and then my essential oils all right you guys that's going to be the end of today's video i hope that you guys enjoyed it leave me a thumbs up if you did subscribe if you are new i create weekly motherhood and homemaking style content here on this channel i'm a stay-at-home mama of three kiddos currently pregnant with baby number four i'm going to be starting on babies and nursery very soon i love to decorate my home and just share decorating ideas and do little makeovers here and there in my house as well as share my life as a mother. So I hope that you guys are subscribed so you don't miss any of that content if you guys are interested. But thank you guys so much for being here today and so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye. <laughs>